Hey guys, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program version 9, well, 0 0.90, better than ever. Oh, it doesn't work in my accent, does it? Um, I suppose we're supposed to say better than ever, because that's how people say beta for some reason. I, I, I don't know. Anyway, shall we um, get started and start a new game? I will tell you now we are running minimal mods, and by minimal mods I mean we've got the alarm clock and the Kerbal attachment system in place. If there are any mods that you guys really, really want to see me playing with, let me know. I will leave this option like fully open. Uh, what are we going to call... Oh, it's player name. Well, player name is Twitchy. I, I, hmm. Why, why do you want my player name? Uh, career mode. I think what we're going to do is... Do we get... Yeah. Oh, look at this. We get to play with everything. Normal. Moderate. Ooh. Hard. Yeah, yeah, these are good. Okay. I think we're going to go with the uh, normal basings and then kind of... Um, uh, tweak it from there. I, li I like this no entry because if you guys remember from the last time, uh, that that entry price that, that was a killer. That was a killer. I don't care about auto hire. We can deal with that ourselves. Missing crew cruise respawn. Yeah, that'll be nice. I think we're gonna have uh, quick saving. We'll go for reverting in case things go wrong. But I don't think we want to be like um, what's the word I'm looking for? Abusing that. We we will. We'll, we'll, we'll keep that on the down low. Uh, I, all this looks good. We, we we can do with all these. 100%. 2005... Uh, 20, oh, God. Oh, do you remember last time when I got this completely wrong? 25,000 starting funds. There we go. That's fine. We, okay, this this looks good. I'm going to accept this as it is. Uh, and we want to choose my flag. Oh, look. There's a whole load of new ones down here. Ooh, but I still like this one. <laughs> Or this one. I don't know. One of these two. Uh, oh, well, looks like we're choosing that one. Go! Pow! Oh, welcome to the space set. What's this? What is it? So this is my first look at the, the 0 0.9 version. So we are going to go through all of this together. I know most of you have probably already seen this. But, hey, this, this is all about me, right? Yeah? <laughs> okay. So I'm Gene Kerman. Hi, Gene. We'll be saying hello to you a lot in the contract centre, I hope. Uh, this is the Space Center. From here, you can manage all aspects of the space program. Feel free to have a look around. Uh, hold the right mouse button. Yep, that, that that's pretty standard. And then there was this as well. This. Oh, wow. That's that's slow. Uh, Right-click over the Space Center facilities to view more about them. I have no idea what I'm looking at here. Max part supported 30. That I, I'm looking at that and not liking that. So there's an, uh, the, the, uh, upgrading costs money. Wow, a lot of money. I don't have that much money. Let's see what else is limited. Tracking center. What does this do? Orbits are visible on map. Well, that's good. Um, what does that mean I'm missing? I don't know what that means I'm missing. I'm sure that means I'm missing a lot. Uh, let's have a look over here. Now, I, I heard people talking about how... Yeah, look at this. A max size and a max weight. That's terrible. That is terrible, terrible. How are we going to deal with that? Uh, if you need any more information, go to the training section on the main menu. Ah, we Training? Training? What do we want training for? All right, I'm just having a quick look around and seeing if anything's different. Oh, oh that's what happens when you... Okay, cool. Uh, things like... Here we go. The astronaut complex. We can only have five active Kerbal. Wait, wait. What about this one? Ah, oh, only two contracts at a time? What? Okay, well, let's go in and have a look. I mean, that the, the kind of seems like a good place to start. Hey, Gene, how's your caffeine addiction going? Yeah, oh, yeah, good. You couldn't, it couldn't even talk to me before you said some more. It's disgraceful. So, uh, what have we got here? Well, we can only have two, right? So, obviously, we're going to want to launch and altitude record, yeah. Uh, that's way below the uh, escape in the atmosphere. Okay, so we'll do that and we'll do this. Pow! Yeah! Thumbs up, Gene. Oh, brilliant. Okay. Oh, oh I clicked that side of the screen. Ah! Uh, all right. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, small problem with Kerbal Space Pro. Like, so I use a double monitor, obviously, because you know who doesn't use double monitors nowadays. And the problem is, like, you see my mouse here. It can disappear off the side of the screen. Now you guys can't see this, but this is on my second screen here. So if I click on that side. Uh, it goes outside Kerbal Space Program. For some reason, my, all my recording software decides at that point that it wants to crash, which is rubbish. Anyway, we are on a mission, I believe. Uh, can we see what our mission is here? Yeah, here we go. Launch a new vessel and reach an altitude of five kilometers. We can... That's, that's like, easy. We don't even have to... Oh, hello. Oh, what, what was all that? <laughs> wow, that's, that's horrible. Uh, hello, I am Vonna von Kerman. Hello, Vonna. Uh, rocket, rocketry engineer, yes. 
course. Um, this is the vehicle assembly building. Here is where you build your safe craft and later roll it out to the launch pad. Just over there, though. Isn't that great? Uh, on your left, you will find components, construct your own spacecraft, select a starting point, and then attach others. Yeah, pretty pretty normal. Um, da -da 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 -da. It's fine. We don't need more in, in depth. Ooh. Ooh, what are they? What, what, what are they? What's this one? All right, well, well, we'll play with those in a sec. Uh, right, so, what... <laughs> Sorry, that's completely throwing me off it. New buttons? No! What's this? <laughs> okay, let's... Um, we know what we're doing. We, uh, okay, so... Ooh. Oh, they finally put this on here. Oh, this is amazing. This is exactly... Oh, excuse me. This is exactly what we need if we're having um, restrictions to work towards. Now, have we got the same parts as... Yes, yeah, uh, oh, ooh. Ooh. Ooh, look at this! They're separated out. I, I, like, I, I knew this was coming. Like, this was in the dev notes, but it's still quite impressive. Look at that. Enable advanced mode. What's advanced mode? Ooh, the, the, the hell is all this here? Oh, look, sub assemblies. Filter by tech level. Manufacture. Wow. Filter by function. Well, we're gonna go with that for now. Okay, <laughs> let's get rid. Let's get rid of that. I'm gonna play with them at some point. Uh, I, I do like the fact that we got the sub assemblies here. That's good to find. Add a custom category. Oh wow, fully customized. Oh wow, good, good, good work, chaps. Yeah, that's exactly what we want. Okay, so we're going for a five-kilometer record. I mean, oh, it's going to be so hard, isn't it? I mean, how how do we do that? Eh? How do we do that? Uh, one of those, one of those. Um, so shifting these around quickly. Sorry, I don't know why I have to stop speaking when I when I start working out on the. Um, staging on this side. So I just waving my mouse around until the, the, the word occurs to me. On the staging on this side, it's a bit a bit weird. Uh, right, so we're going to go with the classic uh, we're going to explode these things option, because th that's the way it works, right? That's, that's how this first flight always works. What are we at? We're at seven tons so far. That's fine. Can we, can we get two of these on here? Is that a possibility? That is a possibility. Brilliant. Now, that normally explodes, doesn't it? So what I think we're going to do is put this on and then see if that explodes. I mean, what's, what is the worst that can happen? Honestly. <laughs> Alright, this this is looking good. We've got these turned up the wrong way, but that's fine. And then hopefully... All, no, why did it keep putting it up there? That is most frustrating. But there we go. This this, this looks good. Uh, right, and I've just been uh, learning about the Falcon 1 return thing. So we're going to call this the Grasshopper. Because, you know, it is our first first option here um I mean, we're still a little bit underweight do you reckon we can, can are we allowed to go three of those oh look at that brilliant i bet it's gonna explode i bet it's gonna explode in a horrible mess oh no we are 0.7 tons over we can't do it okay well that's a shame that is a great shame oh well i mean we could we could always take the parachute off right that that would help that would help lots. One thing I have noticed is we've not got the comms put on there. Um, which, hopefully, will give us the... Oh, move in, move in, move in. Which will hopefully give us the opportunity to play with these. Like, what's it? Offset, rotate? Well, I definitely want to rotate it. What's... Ooh. Oh, that's nice. What does the offset do? Um, up here, two. Oh, ah, ooh. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, no, I don't, I don't, I don't really want to play with that. That's that's fun. That, that's nicely embedded in there, isn't it? Yeah, that that's good. That that looks like right. So let's just have a quick through. We've got the pods. We've got the fuel tanks and engines, of course. There's nothing to go in there. Uh, we are using those to stop it all exploding. There's no aerodynamics to speak of, and we have the um, parachute to bring us back. Okay, I think we go. I think we are ready for our first flight here. If you will excuse me while we go through a horrendous loading screen. All right, Jebediah coming to the fore because I, well, honestly forgot to take him away. Right, first things we want to do, uh, get this crew report out. Yay, first science is done. Pow, and we remember to put the communicator on, on, which is something that I normally forget to do. I'm normally like uh, reverting at this point on all the, all the previous series. What the hell is that? Like sand bunkers everywhere. Should we come out and play around a golf at some point? Oh, how can we play golf? Oh, there's a hole. There's like sand traps. So you probably start down that end, right? Mmm. There's a challenge for people. Let's let's. I tell you what. At some point, I'm going to be back with a sandbox series, and we're going to be playing some golf. Uh, all right. Let's make an EVA report. Uh, da -da -da, curve and short. Brilliant. That's exactly what we wanted, and we're going to get back in 
uh, store the experiments here because we don't want Jeb to be carrying everything around because he's a bit of a Muppet, really. Okay, so here we go. Are we ready? Um, I'm going to set SAS. Yep, that's fine. Brilliant. Uh, and ready in three, two, one. Pow! Okay, so we're using solid boosters here, so we have to try and remember at some point, probably when uh, the, the, the fuel gets down to S or something like that, to fire our liquid engines, because remember, we're trying to explode stuff. I, uh, we, did, we didn't really need to do it like this. I mean, we do... Oh, wow, look, okay. Um, I mean, did we fire our engines early? Oh, I was expecting a little bit of heat to appear on here. I'm going to go from now. Oh, go quicker, please. Go quicker, go quicker, go quicker. Go, 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 go. Oh, no, I hate that. Well, thankfully, thankfully, we, uh, we, we broke we broke the altitude record by quite a lot. Let, let, let's have a look at all these. I mean, we've got, we've got time to kill now. Uh, there are going to be some funny explosions when we come down to the bottom. Let's, let's turn our time warp up and we'll keep an eye. Okay, so we have set the altitude record. Brilliant. I, I wonder what our next altitude record has to be. We can't, we can't really get back to the uh, space center at this point, can we? Uh, but we did this. Brilliant. And we've also launched a new vehicle, got our five science required for the next level. Brilliant level of um, tech, obviously. And we're coming down right on top of the VAB. Ah, this, this could go horribly wrong. Uh, shall, shall we shall we wait and see i oh, know we're, we're doing all right this just this is just for like uh increased recovery um parts right 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 all right okay we're coming down 200 meters so, sounds like the perfect time to uh deploy our parachute coming down a little bit fast i'm gonna be honest 30 13 kilometers is not what i call a safe speed ah oh yeah okay cool uh, that worked incredibly well. Uh, I don't think we're going to get out and get a surface sample. It's a bit far at the moment. And we could just like walk around with, with people later. All right. So, went well. Yay. Uh, so, we get all our stuff back. That's fine. What parts have we got? 98% 98% value returned, but we were at the VAB. So, like, that is the maximum we can get back. That's fine. That's That's brilliant. I would have preferred to put it down on the launch pad, but hey, who cares, right? Hey, right, and Jebediah got XP. Now, I hear that this is actually a thing now. It's not just, hey, he earned some experience, woo, that there, there is actually something to do. So, uh, where do you reckon it's going to be? It's not going to be in the, the administration. It's going to be in here, right? Yeah, look at this. Okay, so what do we do? This is obviously the XP bar, but what, what do we do? Do we just watch these things? Oh, am I too used to like RPGs and stuff? I'm like, ah, you got to earn experience to then spend it, right? Yeah, I bet that's it. It's probably it. If you know, let me know. I haven't looked at the wiki yet. I wanted to come into this blind. I thought, I thought it'd be a, an ideal journey for us to take together. Hey, hey. Uh, so we got visual survey. Okay, so just quickly, um, I learned this in in last um, in in the point two five version and. From what I hear, this is just fine print, okay? So, I was seeing people on, um, on on the group I run asking how you know where the sites are that you're supposed to be going to. Um, now, if we have a look around... Yes, I thought so. Brilliant. Before you even take the contract, you are shown where it is you're supposed to be going to. And, like, this is quite a, a, a wide blob that you're allowed to go to. I should imagine if you flew up the middle, you could do both at once. Um, but, yeah, there was just a little little aside for you guys. I had seen this in the previous version, and I saw people asking about it, so I thought I would just throw that out there. But that's not what we're doing today. Ooh, whoa. Time warp. <laughs> Went to night and day again. Uh, that, that's not what we're doing now, though. Despite the fact that these all do look pretty good. I mean, the Mark 16 parachute. Which one's that? I don't know which one the Mark 16 is. Uh, the problem is that I haven't really learned any of these serial numbers. So I think what we're going to do is that one and that one. Sounds good to me. I mean, we can go up to, like, two kilometers. And we can probably... Let's get... Did, did I say two kilometers? Uh, 20, 22 kilometers. Um, and the reason I feel quite so confident about that is because we can do this now. Look at... Like, this... this the decouplers it's all about the, the, the decouplers so if we buy that brilliant and we got 12 science 12 science cannot be spent anywhere oh this is sad times sad times extra parachutes would have been useful landing legs would also have been useful uh okay so what are we doing now well we are going to try and break an altitude record we could probably do this like relatively easily just doing things like this right uh we can pop this on underneath here um Let's make sure we're not... Yeah, look at that. 14. 14 uh, so, this probably means we can do this. 
Uh, if I remember correctly, we've got a larger fuel tank to take with us. That's good. Large fuel tanks, always good. Always good. Right, what have we got? 16 tons. Now, there should be some science to take with us. Right, yeah, look at that mystery goo. Right, I reckon we want two. I mean, ideally we want three, right? But two, one to get the science on the launch pad for to, to make up, like, because we've already got um, an EVA and a, what's the other one? Uh, crew report from the launch pad. So, oh, I didn't get a crew report in flight. Muppet. And I'm gonna call this one. So we've had a grasshopper. We need the uh, locust now, right? Maybe, is it locust? Because a locust is a point, right? And locust is is, is the animal. I don't know. We're just gonna we're just gonna go for that. Bad spelling aside, let's do it. Yeah. All right, here we are. The first thing we want to do: observe the mystery goo. It's all about that mystery goo. The goo doesn't seem to be doing much right now. That's a shame. It's a real shame. Um, okay, that's fine. We we'll, we will take that and we will bring it back. All right, Jeb, are you ready again? <sighs> Jeb, I hate you so much. Let's go. Uh, we want to turn just the smallest amount off of the vertical because we don't want to come down on top. Well, we won't come down on top of the VAB if we're going to break the atmosphere. We'll come down somewhere really horrendous. Uh, so let's just like that. I think maybe we should be waiting until the uh, the liquid fuel kicks in, but that's fine. We can we can deal with this. Right, we're not we're not looking to explode stuff this time. As much as Jeb is sad at this. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, so we just wait for our time, brilliant, and away we go again. Now this one engine not quite being able to keep up with the power of those three solid boosters, but that's fine, that's fine. We're not really looking to accelerate up and out of the Kerbal system, Kerbin system, uh, the Kerbal system, of course, being the system around the sun. Uh, that's okay, and I reckon this much deviation from the norm should hopefully bring us back. So, pow, one of our altitude markers reached. That, that's brilliant. Got some money. All going good. Can we see how much money we've got from here? Oh yeah, look at this. Look, 50, 50 grand. We doubled our money. We've doubled our money. And very. Oh god, I hope. Oh, yeah, that 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 should be high enough, right? Yeah, look at that. Loads of time. Should we um, speed up time a little bit because it's going to take some time. Uh, and I think maybe when we break the atmosphere, we will do our science. Yeah, look at that. Brilliant. Right now. Ba ba. Wine space near Kerbin. Got it. Brilliant. Space science. So what we want to do talking of space science grab a crew report uh yep that that's exactly what we want and if we are above the atmosphere jeb should be able to oh cannot disembark while off curb in surface asteroid astronaut complex needs uh, what boo hiss oh i'm not impressed with that uh, well it makes it makes sense i mean i suppose you need the infrastructure to the, like go eva and stuff but ah oh, no that's that's annoying, right? Let's let's kill this for all right. Well, we've got got nothing else to waste. As well. No more things to do, I suppose. Just time to waste. Uh, we're coming down. Oh, distance away. That's oh, I was kind of hoping landing over there would mean. We, ooh, look, we can see we can see the runway. We can see the runway. Isn't that great? Okay, so we're coming down through the atmosphere now. As you know, this is the most tedious part for me. Uh, we are on surface velocity of quite quite fast. Um, I don't know how close we are to the floor, but it is getting closer and closer and closer. That's fine. We're going to wait until our speed drops down a fair amount and until we can really make out the uh, the detail on the grass below us. Or maybe not the detail on the grass. I didn't realise this was quite so hilly as it was. So this had a, a remake. What do you guys think? Are these, these hills new? I know that depression's not new. Uh, okay, here we'll do. Um, that, that may have been a bit soon. But then I can see I can see the uh, see the shadow. Uh, we're coming down at 11 meters per second again. That's a wee bit faster than I would ideally like, but that's okay. We should just be blowing up our engines. Hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> um, maybe we'll uh, tip onto our side. Oh, oh, uh, no, no, not 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 good. Carry on rolling. We want we need to get over this. Ah, you. That is not fun. That's that's a shame. That is a real shame. Oh, there we go. Ah, if we're on our back, we can get Jeb out for EVA. That that is the main point. Okay, so let's uh, wander off it. Oh, Jeb, you hit your face on the floor. That's that's no good. And we're gonna go. Oh, well, we're gonna get the EVA report. Well, where's the the surface sample and flag? 
Oh, is this more stuff that I need to upgrade? Oh, wow. Okay, well, there we go. That's a thing. That's a disappointing thing. Oh, well, so let, let, let's get in. Oh, wait, well, we did this. We have escaped the atmosphere. We've got 15 points of science. Yeah. We've got to recover the vessel. And whilst we're looking at these details, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this first look adventure at Kerbal 0.90 better than ever I suppose I'm gonna say it, it's not better though um, well it's not beta better but yeah you know what I'm saying it's a, it's a good good upgrade I'm not saying the upgrades not better but uh. anyway so look we did really well here we got we got the site we are loaded in science uh, and we are three times the amount of money that we had that's good and Jebediah didn't get any XP Jeb you are rubbish I should have brought someone else out well, with that, I will see you next time when we get to do some more. Bye!